We're just a tiny speck in the middle of a cosmic void, floating on a planet we call Earth. It's hard to imagine how small we are in the vastness of space. But a powerful image once reminded us of this. Carl Sagan, a well-known astronomer, convinced NASA to turn Voyager 1's camera back toward Earth. That moment gave birth to what we now call the first selfie of Earth, an image known as the pale blue dot. In the photograph, Earth appears as just a small blue dot, suspended in a beam of sunlight, nearly invisible. It captured the imagination of millions. Sagan later said, look again at that dot. That's here. That's home. That's us. His words hit deep. Everything we have ever known, our history, joys, and sorrows, has happened on that tiny pixel. But Voyager 1 did far more than just take a picture. Launched in 1977, this spacecraft was designed for a mission expected to last only five years. However, nearly five decades later, it is still going strong, venturing into what we call the interstellar medium. It now travels through regions of space that no human-made object has ever reached before. The mission was meant to explore the outer planets, but as it continued to function, scientists realized they had a golden opportunity. Voyager 1 has since become a symbol of human curiosity and persistence. It has captured data that no ground-based telescope could provide, giving us new insights into the mysteries of deep space. One of the most astonishing discoveries made by Voyager 1 came when it detected over 500 bursts of radio radiation. These weren't regular signals. Most of them occurred in just a millisecond and then vanished forever. These fast radio bursts, FRBs, have puzzled scientists. They're like whispers from the cosmos, brief, powerful, and deeply mysterious. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson commented that these signals could be cosmic fingerprints of phenomena we don't yet understand. The scientific community was shocked by the data. At first, some believed it might be a malfunction, after all, the spacecraft is nearly 50 years old. But Voyager 1 proved its reliability once again. Its dual computer systems, which are redundant for safety, help ensure that even if one system fails, the other can take over. This incredible design has allowed Voyager 1 to operate longer than anyone expected. It is now more than 14.5 billion miles from Earth, moving at a speed that is far beyond the original mission goals. To keep it running, scientists have had to be creative. The spacecraft no longer receives much sunlight, so they've had to preserve energy carefully. They turned off non-essential systems and created new power-saving methods. This delicate balance has kept Voyager alive and communicating with Earth, sending back data that continues to change what we know about the universe. One of its most baffling reports is the detection of unidentified objects drifting in space. These aren't asteroids or space debris. They appear to materialize suddenly, only to disappear again. Some scientists suggest these could be new types of cosmic matter, or even unknown natural phenomena. Dr. Emily Baldwin, an astrophysicist at the European Space Agency, said, Voyager 1's findings force us to rethink our understanding of space. These objects challenge every model we've built so far. Despite the mystery, one thing is clear, we have more questions than answers. The sheer resilience of Voyager 1 is a marvel. Even when faced with the harsh environment of deep space, it continues to operate. Its antennas and instruments still transmit signals to Earth, often taking more than 20 hours to arrive. This delay is a reminder of how incredibly far it has traveled. Scientists have learned to adapt. They've developed advanced charging techniques to manage the spacecraft's aging batteries. New software updates and commands are sent slowly but carefully, ensuring the mission doesn't lose direction or purpose. Every bit of energy counts now. The data from Voyager 1 has also helped us understand cosmic rays, solar winds, and the structure of the heliosphere, the bubble-like region of space influenced by our Sun. By crossing the heliopause in 2012, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to enter interstellar space. There, it encountered conditions vastly different from those near Earth. The density of particles, the nature of magnetic fields, and the levels of radiation all changed dramatically. This information is crucial for future space missions, especially if we ever hope to send humans beyond our solar system. Interestingly, 
Some scientists have started exploring the possibility that Voyager 1 might help us detect signs of alien civilizations. While there's no direct evidence yet, the unusual radio bursts have sparked interest. Could these be signals from intelligent life? Most experts remain skeptical but open-minded. Dr. Sarah Seeger from MIT explained, we must always be cautious. Extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, but that doesn't mean we stop searching. The mystery of those 500 radio signals still lingers. Some theories suggest they come from neutron stars, others propose black hole activity, and a few even hint at unknown physics. Voyager 1 has also taught us about the fragility of Earth. Looking back at that pale blue dot, we realize how rare and precious our home is. There's no backup planet. This understanding fuels a growing interest in planetary preservation and space sustainability. As Voyager 1 moves deeper into space, it carries with it the golden record, a time capsule of sorts. This record includes sounds, music, greetings, and images from Earth, intended for any intelligent beings that might find it someday. It's a gift from humanity, saying, we were here. Voyager 1 has taught us to dream bigger, reach farther, and never give up, even in the face of the unknown. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.